Good morning and welcome back to another lesson. My name is Teddy Strings and I'm here with you again. Today we are going to be talking about like a few details about the 12 notes in music and how to identify them on your fretboard and how to remember them because instead of memorizing the chords and the scales we're going to do this lesson first because a lot of guitars don't actually understand what they are playing they just memorize them and that's it's counterproductive to your learning and if if you understand what you're playing you can remember easier your subconscious will give you the speed you need to learn the instrument faster so here we go i'm going to change the angle but before we do that remember to hit subscribe and join the family man peace so first off i have a guitar here for a reason last time i taught you about the tuning pegs, the neck, the head, the bridge, the sound holes. It's a semi-acoustic guitar like we learned in the other lesson. So it has an F hole. And this is the neck. But on the neck, I told you we have something we call frets. Remember? We have something we call frets. The lines here. And I asked you to count how many frets you had. That was in the last lesson. So in this lesson, I'm going to explain what they are, what exactly happens. Remember, in the lesson about tuning, I taught you about E, A, D, G, B, E. Do you remember the names of the strings? E, A, D, G, B, E. If you count from the top, there are six strings on the guitar. If you have time, just do that quickly. If you want to remember, every angry dog Grows and bites eventually. That is E A D G B E. Every angry dog grows and bites eventually. So count from the thicker string. Every angry dog grows and bites eventually. Today's lesson is going to be about the notes, about music. Remember in the first lesson where I asked you if anyone has music history. Anyone who has music history will definitely understand what I'm talking about. So today I'm going to teach you about the 12 notes in music. The 12 notes start from C like I told you last time. C then the next one is C sharp D D sharp E F remember that E doesn't have a sharp E doesn't have a sharp so after F we have F sharp keep that in mind the next will be what? Can you guess? Okay. I think you can guess because of the alphabet. You can see a pattern here, right? So if you can guess, the next will be G. Then the next will be what? G sharp. But when we get to G, some people go to H, but it's rare. We say A. Because we want to revolve back to the C to make a loop so we sometimes some people name it H but the most common one is A then A we go to A sharp are you there and the next one what can you guess will be a what it will be a B and one thing we will note is that B does not have a sharp so E and B don't have sharps but if you really want to understand this you can just put numbers. One, twelve. So these are the twelve notes. Can you come with me again? C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, A sharp, and B. And they are twelve if you count them. You can draw arrows and connect them to each other, just to be sure.
doesn't make sense to you but on the guitar in open string tuning it starts with e a d g b e do you remember what i said every angry dog growls and bites eventually are you here okay good so we're going to take it slow we can find in e a d g b e which notes can we find one e right the first one then a then d then g and then b then e so on the guitar if it's open this is e right open e play the thicker string it's an open e If you look on this line, after E, what is the next one in the box? It's F, right? If I put lines in between them and make them like a guitar fret. If you put them in boxes, you see that they can look like a guitar itself. Try to think of it like that. It can look like a guitar itself. If I cover the top like this, you see that if I join these ones slowly, it looks like a guitar. Think of it as the first string. This box I've made here, Think of it as the first string and we are going to move forward because when you are looking down at your guitar, you will look at it in this direction. You will be moving forward. Always think of that. You are moving forward. It looks upside down here because I want to show you directly. But on your guitar, you will be moving forward like this. Open E, right? This is open E. So think on this. The next one will go so will be what? We can't go out of the guitar, we have to go forward because it's down here. This is the beginning. So we have to go forward. From where you're looking, go forward. My hand is gonna be here, like where you are. Go forward. The next one will be F. So after F, we have F sharp. Does that make sense? The next one will be G, G sharp. Try to do that with all the strings. You see from A, you count the next one. A to A sharp, B. Try to count all of them. So our homework for today will be only to locate C on the guitar. After identifying the 12 notes and writing them down, you just have one job and that's to find C. We're gonna do that right now. To find C, which is the first note we wrote here, we're gonna count down from the fifth string. Can you find the fifth string? I taught that in that lesson. If you don't know where the fifth string is, go to my other lesson. I have all the information there. And this is the fifth string. Count from the fifth string. The first right here will be what? A sharp. A is open, then A sharp. And the next one will be what? B. Then the next one will be what? C. This is the end, so we start all over. It's a loop. Think of it as a loop. It's always moving. Music is always supposed to be moving. So the last thing we are going to do is we are going to try to... After we found C, we are going to write the notes right under to give you a i'll just write 12 of them okay on the thicker string so it's that just from the first fret you just draw one line there and one typically long line to represent a string so imagine your this is your finger and this is the fret and you're like here you see on the head the thing that divides the head and the neck this, that's this. Okay, so now we are going to start writing. The first one is F. 
Why is it F? Because the open tuning of this string is E, like we talked about. Every angry dog grows and bites eventually. So E. If you look at this chart, when we move from E, what's the next one? It's F. So from E, that is open, that's out, we have F. Right? And guess what the next one will be? F sharp. And the next one we want G. And then G sharp. Then the next one we want A. Good. A sharp. The next one will be what? B. Good. There we go. And the last one. Finally, we found C. Because that's what we're going to be learning to today. So we are going to be doing from open E to C. And you count how many frets are those. So this is the first fret. Remember last time I asked you to count the frets. It's important to know how to count your frets because you'll be using it to learn how to read tabs. So this is the first fret. This is the second fret. This is the third fret. This is the fourth fret. This is the fifth fret. This is the sixth fret. This is the seventh fret. And this is the eighth fret. Do you get it? So the first eight notes. That's what we are going to be learning today. And thank you for watching. Yeah, this is the first music theory lesson. We are going to be doing more and stick with me. If you are a complete beginner, this is perfect for you. Because it will open your eyes as learning the guitar as an instrument and give you an idea on some basic music theory too. That you can apply in other instruments. Thank you for staying with us. We've come to the end of another lesson. In the next lesson, we're going to be talking about how to identify the notes on the fretboard, finding your notes and building chords and other stuff. So see you. See you in the next lesson. Peace and love. I'm Teddy Strings.